Story time. The Little Whistle Mouse is the title of my story. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, the animal kingdom was struck by a severe drought, and this brought famine to the land. Not even the little, teeny, tiny ant was spared. Well, as time passed, things grew from bad to worse. At this point, the king knew it was time to act, so he summoned all the animals in the kingdom to a meeting. At the meeting, there were lots of suggestions on how to solve this problem. However, in the end, it was the wise Agama lizard's advice that proved substantial. He suggested they travel during the summer to a far, far away land, where there are plenty of food to eat. And while coming back home, we were to gather all sorts of food and store them in a cave, so as to have enough food to sustain them during the harsh winter until the next summer. This advice sounded wise to everyone, and so they adopted this measure year in, year out. The hippos guarded the food cave, while everyone else went in, ate, and left. No one was to take with them any food while exiting the food cave. Not even the king.、Hmm. This arrangement was very successful in the first year, and so was it in the second year. However, on the third year, something went wrong. The food in the food cave was depleting drastically, unlike the previous years. Everyone knew they were heading for disaster. But no one knew what to do to salvage the situation, aside a little whistle mouse, who wasn't ready to watch his little community perish from starvation. This little whistle mouse embarked on a secret investigation. He bored a hole through the roof of the food cave. There he stayed and watched. To find out the reason behind this drastic decrease in food stocks, on the first day of his investigation, the lead to whistle mouse was disappointed, as he found nothing suspicious. However, on the second day of this investigation, he noticed that a kangaroo hopped into the food cave with her joey in her pouch. But while she was leaving, her joey hopped after her. Yet her pouch was still swollen, like she had her joey in there. Hmm. The little whistle mouse found that suspicious. So on the third day of the investigation, he watched Mrs. Kangaroo very closely, and to his great shock, he saw Mrs. Kangaroo stocking food right into her pouch. He thus recalled that this was why Mrs. Kangaroo's joey. Couldn't fit into her pouch the previous day, so as Mrs. Kangaroo left the food cave for her home, the little weasel mouse rushed down and ran after her, whistling loudly, calling the attention of all the animals. The rest of the animals came out and ran after the weasel mouse, Mrs. Kangaroo, and her Joey. Finally, everyone caught up with Mrs. Kangaroo. It was at this point they found that it was Mrs. Kangaroo that was stealing from the food cave. Then they followed her home, and were even more astounded when they found heaps of food stocked in her home. Infuriated, the lion banished her from the kingdom. The food was then returned to the food cave, and everyone thanked the little whistle mouse. For his wisdom and bravery. Now, children, these are the moral lessons of this story. One, it is bad to distort public arrangement for personal interest, and it is best to always consider others before taking actions. Two. The consequences of stealing is always shameful and humiliating. We must always learn to be contented with whatever we have, especially with the much our parents could provide for us. Three, your action can save others or mar them. So, 
it is important we put our energy on things that will benefit the society positively. Let nothing hold us back from doing the right thing at all times, not even our age. 4. We should never give up doing what is fine even when our hard work isn't yielding fruit at the moment, for it will definitely pay off someday. Now children, did you spot a new word you did not understand? If you did, get a note and a pen and create your own vocabulary bank. Pick your newly discovered words, write down their meanings, synonyms and antonyms and the number of syllables that makes up the word. As for me, the words that I spotted are substantial, infuriated, astounded,